Good morning. Buenos dias, everybody. Happy Sunday. It's currently Sunday and it's church day. Now, typically I've been making TikToks on Sunday mornings, but I was like, I feel like ever since I started TikTok, I've kind of been forgetting about you guys. So we're spending Sunday together today. Yay. So I just woke up. We have 58 minutes till we have to leave out the door to go to church. So let's get started. I'm getting to the point where I actually start to look forward to church before I start going to church. I would always kind of be like, okay, like I don't know what's there for me, but I'm just gonna keep showing up. I'm just gonna keep showing up. Um, because in the beginning it was kind of hard, like especially if you don't grow up like with a family that's used to going to church. Um, you kind of just I don't know, like I would see people who would be like, oh, I can't wait to go to church, and I'd be like, why? Like I didn't understand, you know. But now I I feel like I know what they mean and what they're talking about because now I look forward to it. Like I look forward to Sunday and I look forward to seeing like worship is my favorite part. My serum, bonita. Oh my God, you guys, I actually have to tell you, I can't believe, I actually cannot believe that the podcast, so you guys know I have a podcast with my mom, so yeah, my, the Get It De Mucho podcast, right? And that podcast actually started in English because I thought, okay, like the majority of my content is in English, my TikToks are in English, my, my YouTube videos are in English, so I was like, okay, like for sure, we should do it in English. And my mom speaks perfect English in my opinion. She just has a little bit of an accent. Like everybody was like super supportive. Everybody loved the podcast and stuff. And I cannot believe, like people were like, just try it in Spanish, try it in Spanish, try it in Spanish. And I was like, I just don't want to lose our followers that don't speak Spanish. Like I wish we could all like be able to understand each other. You know, like I wish it was subtitles and stuff. Well, anyway, I was like, you know what mom, let's try it in Spanglish. It's mainly Spanish, but let's try it and see how people react. See if people like it, see how we feel. My mom, wow, like she shined in Spanish. Like honestly, obviously that's her first language and it's my first language too. Um, but like she just thrived speaking in Spanish. Like you could tell like se desenvolvió más. And you know, I felt comfortable in Spanish. Like I kind of feel like I was a little bit nervous because I don't normally speak that much Spanish all the time, but we tried it. And then everybody was so supportive of it. Like I cannot believe people were so like, in love with the Spanish podcast. I mean, the Get the Mucho podcast uploads every Monday, so make sure you check it out. But I can't believe it. Let me know what you guys think. I think a lot of you guys probably watch it. Uh, if you don't, I will link it for you guys down below because literally don't miss out, you guys. The Get the Mucho podcast is where we have like those deep conversations about like, about like relationships and love and life. And like, I feel like you get like a different side because my mom shares so much of like her life experience and I just share, I'm just there for the vibes. <laughs> but it's a really, I mean, I'm biased, but I, I think it's a really good podcast. Oh, we have to let the dogs out, let's go. The baby's still sleeping thankfully, so hopefully I have enough time to get ready. But then we're probably gonna have to wake him up to get him ready. Okay guys, this is my outfit. I don't love it. Like, I don't necessarily love it because I feel like I look better when I have lashes on, but we're kind of in a rush. And I didn't add them even though it probably take two seconds, but it's okay. I had to make breakfast for the baby. Cause I like to make sure that at least the baby has breakfast. But yes, it's currently 9.53, so <laughs> hopefully we make it on time. Yes, Papi Chulo. Vamos a tomar cafecito. Baby, you want coffee? Or you want it when we come back? Right now? Okay. Lo bueno de los domingos is that I don't cook because every Monday we get carnitas. I mean every Monday, every Sunday we get carnitas after church. So I don't have to worry about cooking today. Um, but I like to make sure the baby has breakfast at least because he woke up at 9.30. Typically he'll be up for like three hours and then I'll take him into like the little nursery they have at the, at the church and then he'll fall asleep for a little bit there. I'm not loving my hair right now. I forgot to do my overnight curls last night and this is what I'm dealing with. Today's mug. Aquí está mi guapo. Buenos días, corazón. Oh, mi bebé guapo. Ya amaneció bien peinadito. 
Every time I dance like that, me recuerda a Franco Flores. Desayunamos. ¿Por qué se está pegando mi cazuela? Ay, tiene hipo mi pa. I'm supposed to be on the go for situations like this So I might just give him this for now Typically I like for him to have eggs in the morning but... Remember when I didn't used to be much of a coffee drinker Now I literally don't want to leave the house If I haven't had coffee Vamos a desayunar Vamos a desayunar Arms tired Mande mi papucho lo mío Mande mi Vamos a desayunar en tu playpen. I'm just gonna feed him in the playpen because we gotta go. Tengo sed, tengo hambre, tengo que darle de comer al niño. We gotta go. It's a lot. My main goal for today is to make it to worship. Worship is my favorite part, you guys. It's so good. Church. We had to leave Denny because he was like, just go without me. I don't want you to just worship. And I was like, are you sure? Yes, with that puppy. And he was like, yeah. So we actually made it here with four minutes to spare. Yes, corazón mío. So I'm gonna get SJ down. We're gonna go get an excellent seat. We're gonna go worship. Hopefully today is a beautiful message. Literally every time, every time we come to church, I feel, well, we come to church every Sunday, but I feel like there's always a message for every person there, you know? So, a ver de qué se trata ahora. Last week se trató de que todos sus pecados han sido perdonados en el nombre de Jesús. Amén. And it's so funny because I have recently been opening a little bit more like about like my Christian stuff, I would say. And I made a, a, a reel on Instagram and I put like basically like, oh, I'm like starting to read the Bible. And then somebody commented and was like, oh, it's so... Ay. But I'll, I'll tell you guys about it after. We're back from church. Ya me cambié en my comfy outfit. Yes, pa. Let's go, baby. Ya me cambié en mi comfy outfit. Okay, I told you I was going to tell you guys what the service was about. So today it was about. Hold on, because I blink. ¿Tú te acuerdas de qué se trata? No, 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 no. Ah, ¿en serio? Buena atención, baby. It's because it's no, hard for me to pay attention because... No, I forgot. Era de... Fui through a service. I go in the nursery because SJ falls asleep. And I can pay attention, but it's kind of hard because I have, like, the kids club next to me. And they're, you know, like, they're playing. So it's kind of hard to pay attention 100%. But from what I remember, I see we were on the same page. Se trata de que if you want to let God in your life, you have to open the door to Him. But you also have to open the door to forgiveness because you can't open your your heart to God unless you've opened up your heart to forgiveness. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. Well, when I pulled up mm -hmm. second part, mm -hmm. it was, oh, because we it switched. Twenty twenty four was a year to receive. Yes. Yeah. Amen, hermano. <laughs> Yeah, so typically our Sunday tradition is that we uh, comemos carnitas. <laughs> so, vamos a comer carnitas. Baby, ¿quieres limpiar la mesa y quitar tus cosas para poder sentarnos allá? Ah, ¿quieres que las pongan la secadora? Bruh. We were using the secadora, baby. Put it on the side and put it back in. Después de que te doblo la ropa, te quejas. Última vez que le doblo la ropa al hombre. Now I gotta move it. You can leave your clothes in the dryer forever, baby. I was gonna grab from there when I needed a shirt. That's not a place to store your clothing, baby. I'm sorry. Today's the last day of the drop, you guys. And I'm closing the website after, so we're pushing, baby. We're pushing. ¿Verdad? ¿Verdad que sí, corazón? I got these uh, dollar or hundred dollar bills because you guys know that we're doing like a giveaway where three winners are gonna win a hundred dollars. But I wanted it to be fun. So basically, in three random orders, we're gonna put one of these bills, and then they're gonna message us and be like, "Hey, like we got the like I got the one hundred dollar bill," and then we're gonna give them like a real hundred dollars. Yeah, but we're gonna write down what the order number is because then I feel like anyone can just go to Amazon and get it and be like, "Hey, I got it." You know what I mean? So I'm gonna write down in the back like the order number so we know what the order number is that got it. Period! The winner randomly put it or what? Yeah, in three oh, orders. Nice. You excited? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mmm. 
van a ver con el facial, bien acá. No, 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 Did she say that? I honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm not paying attention to oh, you guys. No. Ay, que escándalo, diles. Santiago, por favor. comer. Dejen comer. <laughs> ¿Qué haces, señor? Oh, man. He's going to eat one taco. Te da ruido para la libra para comerte un taco. <laughs> Baby, oh my god, I kill my diet, bro. Why do you mean we always have carnitas on Sundays? No, no, no. The top protein? Te la voy a, la voy a quemar. I'm gonna play. Oh, oh man. Okay. No more? Oh, okay. man. Okay. Mm -hmm. You let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, oh man. Okay. okay. <laughs> Got it. Just a little snack. No, so. All done. The baby just fell asleep, so. I have five minutes. Well, no, I probably have a little more, but look. <laughs> Safe to say, I got a problem. <laughs> you guys have been asking me for a press on video. So I've only had these for a week, you guys. So look, let me show you. I've only had these for a week. These were the glamnetic ones. Y me duran mucho. Like, I feel like I could do anything and everything that I would with acrylics. But I just love press-ons because I don't have to be sitting in a nail salon for two hours. Like, honestly, that's what sold me. And I love the fact that you can change the styles, like, super fast. So, look. I lit I went a little press-on cray-cray. But, look. These are some of the options I have. I have these green ones. I have these short red ones. I have these fun green ones. Oh, I have these glittery ones. These are cute. These are from Amazon. Um, I have these ones. I, these ones I don't love. I got from Walmart and I don't like that they kind of look dark, but they look cute at the time. I got these ones. I really feel like these are the vibes that I want to go for. I like these green ones. And then I have these, but these are very similar to the ones I currently have on. So I'm going to change my press ones on right now. You're supposed to soak them off. It's probably what's healthiest for your nails. But I'm gonna have flojera. Let me take this off and then I'll show you right now. Look, it's literally the end of the day. <laughs> Danny goes to play volleyball on Sundays. So it's kind of hard for me to vlog. First of all, because I'm by myself with the baby. And second of all, uh, because I'm by myself with the baby. <laughs> so I just, earlier on when I was doing my nails, I he was, the baby was sleeping. So he was taking his afternoon nap and... I got to finish my nails, but then he woke up and it's hard. Obviously it's hard because we don't show him. So finally, this is my me time. This is my precious me time where I get to do whatever I need, whatever I want to do. Of course, if he does wake up, then I'll go in and like soothe him and stuff. But I wanted to hang out with you guys. First of all, let me show you my nails. Look, I ended up doing these shorter cherry glaze i believe these are called so i like them i wasn't sure if i was gonna like them because me que eran como muy doñita vibes but i kind of really really like them i've been like obsessed with the whole press on thing as you guys know like I'll, once a week i've been changing them i feel like eventually i'll grow out of it and i'll wait like two weeks and stuff but i honestly love it girl my postpartum hair growth <laughs> You guys see it? I don't know if you guys could see it, but anyway. So I got to change my nails and then I was hanging out with SJ toda la tarde, gracias a Dios. And now I'm gonna do my overnight curls. So I like to switch off between overnight curls and the overnight rod because in order for the rods to be successful you have to have like a hairstyle done like i don't like the rods don't really do your hair for you but they will maintain a hairstyle and the overnight curls they do do curls for you so it's like one night i'll do overnight curls one night i'll do the overnight rods and that's why sometimes you guys see me with one and sometimes you see me with the other but como quien dice i've completely given up on like heat on my hair Except if I want to like strain it and stuff, then I will use heat. But I haven't really done that in a long time because the thought of sitting there for an hour, like spending more than like 10 minutes doing my hair is just unfathomable to me. 
Right now I'm in my season of raising little babies, which you want to know the craziest thing. I know I don't really ever share things about SJ, but this was like a shock to me, okay? So we were in the room and he's a crawler. He's crawling everywhere. He has a lot of energy. He's a very healthy baby boy. And all of a sudden, like he's been standing on his own, like grabbing onto things. Like he'll grab onto like the couch or something and he'll stand up ever since he was like six months. He's about to be nine months. So he's been standing for a long time. But today, basically I whenever I let him crawl like in the room and stuff I'm right behind him like I'm just watching him right and today was the first time the first time where he basically stood up holding on to the wall like nothing like he didn't have anything to hold on to like he just kind of leaned on the wall and stood up and then he like looked at me and I was like oh my god so then I grabbed his hand and I stood next to him and he was just standing there holding my head and I was like oh my god what like, I just gave birth. How is this newborn standing up like this? Somebody call Guinness World Records because I have a newborn that's standing up. <laughs> I'm sick, y'all. Like, I cannot believe my child is standing up on his own. Dude, I hate it. No, I don't hate the fact that he's standing up, but until now, I just, I'm shocked. Like, people tell you all the time, it goes by fast, it goes by fast. Somebody pause the world because what the... Like, I did not think it went by this fast. Like, I used to think I knew what time going fast meant and then I had a child. Where have the last eight, nine months gone by? Like, I feel like my pregnancy went by super slow and then him being born, I'm like, oh my God, like, that's so fast. I don't know. And then I know every other mom who has grown kids are, are like, yes, it goes by fast. Like, they were just a baby and I'm like, oh my God. God, I hate it. I hate that time goes by so fast. I don't know how to make it go slower, you know? But one thing is true, and for sure, like, I'm super grateful that I get to be his mom and I get to raise him and I get to watch him grow. It's both parts equally sweet and bitter. It's bittersweet. Like, that is a definition of bittersweet. Seeing your baby reach milestones and seeing your baby reach milestones is also hard because you're like, oh my God, like, Think about it, like once he starts walking in the nombre de Dios, like he's not gonna crawl again. <laughs> or like once he gets teeth, he doesn't have teeth yet, by the way. Um, he's never gonna have that gummy smile again. Like, oh my God, I'm not okay, y'all. Okay, let me wrap it up here. I haven't had time to read my Bible today, so I am gonna take the time to do that right now because let me tell you something. And this is like facts, like, coming from me okay like i was a skeptic i know how you feel like you're gonna listen to me and you're gonna be like and i know because i was like that okay i used to be so like mom talking to my mom right i used to be so like mom i don't understand the bible like the bible is so hard to read like i don't know what people are talking about in the bible like i just it was overwhelming for me the thought of thinking like if i start reading the bible i'm not gonna know what they're talking about or i'm gonna be falling asleep i don't even know where to begin like it is such a thick book and it is all those things are true sometimes the bible's hard to read sometimes you're gonna get sleepy and you don't even know where to begin i was given the advice to start on john the book of john and the book of john basically talks about the life of jesus okay and if you don't know where to start and you kind of want to start start with john because I, that's where i started and i'm still currently reading john i'm taking my time with it i'm not rushing that's it and i love it like it is such a beautiful story like even if you're not a christian that's okay like just the story of jesus christ like it is so beautiful 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 so i'm currently reading girl whoever thought i was gonna be here on my youtube channel opening the bible not i that's for sure but okay so i'm currently on john 18 so i'm about to read the bible and spend some time with the word because i notice a difference when i do it and when i don't do it and for the last two days we have been just busy days so i want to take the time to do it right now because i i'm just a better person when i do this i'm a better person my soul feels fuller i feel happier i just feel fulfilled like you guys if you feel empty and you feel like you don't know what you want to do with your life or what you want to do like just open up the bible and start reading literally if that's the only reason why you get close to god that's fine just say god please take the emptiness away from me because I can guarantee you and I am sitting here telling you postpartum was really hard for me emotionally and 
I felt emptiness. Like I felt emptiness like I have, I have never felt emptiness before. I love my child. I felt in love with my child. Like I loved him, you know, my love for my child was never in doubt. But I felt empty, I felt worthless, and I felt sad. And th that was the first time I truly felt like really, like those feelings very deeply. And it was God that got me out of that. And it was getting closer, closer to God that allowed me to fulfill my heart. So if you can relate or you can resonate with any of that, I'm here to tell you, I also felt how you've been feeling and God is the answer. <laughs>